This is um 88 heroes. Um yeah. Uh it's a pretty fun game. Um yeah, so the basic premise is like there's 88 heroes, they're all really bad, so that's that's funny, sort of. Um, and um, they have 88, they have 88 minutes to 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 um to um. They have 88 minutes to um stop Doctor Hate, spelled H8, and they have 88 seconds to finish each level. And, um, it's just, and every enemy you kill, you get 88 points. For those of you not understanding the significance of the number 88, it's, um, a white supremacist, uh, symbol for the term Heil Hitler. So I'm a little bit skeptical of the intentions of the game designers and what their sense of humor is. But, um, yeah, so to me, the number 88 heroes implies... Heil Hitler heroes, which makes me slightly uncomfortable. But this game is um, an entertaining game, I'll say somewhat. Uh, nonetheless, I, I did enjoy it, for better or for worse. Um, the heroes aren't very good, so you're just going to die a lot, and all your and you'll, you'll eventually go through all the heroes. And every, every time you beat a level, you also switch to a different hero, which is like pretty. It creates some pretty interesting variety, and I, I never mind dying because I get to see a new hero, and it's kind of fun in that way. Although, it, it starts to wear... If you've seen all the heroes and played with them all for a bit, it starts to wear thin, for af uh, thin after a while. Some of the enemies have... Some of the heroes have no way of attacking at all, like this one here. Uh, Penelope Pixel or something like that. She has no... She has no attack. It's like a pitfall type character, I guess, except female. Um, yeah. This is supposed to be like an Amiga game hero. I'm doing much better here than I usually do. This character can only eat pizza and get 88 points every time he eats a pizza. It doesn't do much good to get points, I don't think. Uh, there's no high score, and there's just... I mean, yeah, you can keep track of the score yourself, I guess. But, um, the score doesn't seem to give you extra lives or anything like that. So, I wouldn't worry about it too much. So, uh, I guess it's good to have points. I kind of enjoy watching him eat the pizza. Something to do when, when you have to stand around for a little bit. Which, there are sections of this game where you'll have to stand around and wait for the right time to move. Like I'm doing right here. Uh, somebody's calling me. It's my mom. I guess I better, um get her phone call. I'll be right back. I did not to pick up the phone since I'm in the middle of a review. I'm trying to see if I can kill... Nope. There's a Mario character who has a butt stomp. Sometimes it's not clear like whether or not an attack will work. So I tried to use my attack on that spike ball and it didn't work. This is Ladder Lola. She can use her ladder to avoid... to avoid um, having to beat the level. Which is pretty cool. If you collect 88 coins, you can resurrect a fallen hero. Ah, nice. Yay, well done. Go you, ten point Ladder Lola is one of my favorites. I really enjoy skipping levels. This is another one of my favorites, Gymnastic. He can call down a, a thing and then can do that and can land on things and smash them. Even spikes, apparently, which I wasn't sure if it would work or not. Uh, but it did. Anyway, um, yeah. That's 88 Heroes. Eventually it gets really hard. I'll try to get to a hard part where I'll start dying over and over again. Oh, well, there you go. I, I died there. And so then, uh, then you just get a new guy immediately. And so there's like a whole bunch of heroes. And it's, it's kind of fun and kind of... Kind of fun how stupid they are and how terrible the, how terrible they are to control and stuff like that. Um, Bring 
<laughs> and then you just laugh, and then, and you always you see it all through the perspective of the villain. Uh, he gets, he gets, he's happy when you lose, and he gets mad when you succeed. So it's um, it's pretty fun. I think you get the general idea. Um, so there's there's other modes as well. There's the Magnificent Eight that lets you pick your own eight heroes. Um, some racist now. And um, so I picked eight heroes at random. Yeah, let's just take them. But you can also pick eight that you like. And so instead of having 88 characters, you only get eight. And it can actually be an advantage if you pick if you pick like your best guy. Um, then like when you die, like once you get down to one guy, then you just use that same guy over and over again for each level. Uh, and that last guy can really carry you through and help you win. And that's how I beat the game using this character called Misfortune that can randomly beat the level just by flipping a coin. Or or if she fails, if if she if, she land, if the coin lands on the wrong side, she dies instead. But if she's the last character, it doesn't really matter if she dies because you can just continue again. I like this character, Madam Missile. She's pretty fun. Mr. Average isn't so bad, but his attacks are a little slow. Lord Fisty Cuffs is really terrible. Because he does he does his punch attack and then you have to wind him up afterwards. Yep, that wasn't very good. I've never beaten a level with Glass Girl. She tends to shatter on her own after jumping too many times. It's the first, that's the first time I ever beat a level with Glass Girl. Um, so Mando's great because you can, you can drop his head and then, well, it's hard to, hard to explain, but believe it or not, that was a pretty good one. This guy has a drone, which is pretty cool. So I can just send the drone to attack whatever I want. I don't think you can attack this thing. Can it? Oh yeah, it can. Nice. I didn't know I could do that. Pretty cool. The drone can't collect co a coin, I don't think. No, I can't. So yeah, you get the general idea. Um, then there's a, a solo mode where you get to just practice playing as only one hero and you get 88 lives. Everything's been 88s in this game. I'm pretty sure there's 88 levels total. Um, so, okay, let's. I don't want to. I don't want to save over that one, but let's let's play as Custard Trout this time. Custard Trout is pretty good. Um, so with Custard Trout, it's like you only play as Custard Trout. So if I die, if I die. Um, I'll just try to try to play a little softly so I die. It just instantly lets you come right back as Custer Trout again. You have 88 lives total, so um, gives you a good chance to like practice with your favorite heroes and get to know levels without feeling infuriated that you died and you don't get to play with that character again. Custer Trout's pretty good because he has a jump attack. Most characters don't. Um, in fact, most characters, a lot of characters don't even have any attack, but having a jump attack is especially cool. Wow. Oh! But see, it's no big deal because I get to come right back as Custard Trout again. Well, that's pretty stupid. I kind of like the villain, I like the funny things that he says, but after a while it starts to wear thin. Especially when you're dying like again and again, over and over again, on really hard parts. I think I'm making most of the early levels look pretty easy, but it actually gets really hard as it goes on. Anyway, uh, yeah. Good idea. It's a pretty fun game. 
I feel like the title is a little offensive, personally, but um, you know, it's up to you if you want to interpret it in the worst possible light or not. I think I reluctantly do want to interpret it in that light. So I find, find the title a bit offensive, but um, that being said, I do really enjoy the game. Uh, using the number 88 over and over again throughout the story as humor, it's like a little bit gross, but um, it's something I personally can get over for a gameplay mechanic and game that I basically enjoy. The humor is okay, a little repetitive. Uh, it's mostly mostly the villain making silly comments as you as you beat levels and they start to repeat a lot and, and, and also as you die on levels which start to repeat a lot as well but um that said I, I basically basically do like the game I'll give it a 7.5 out of 10 I think I'm being a little bit less generous but um yeah, I do like it. I was tempted to give it an eight, but um, you know, the Nazi humor, I guess, put me off a little. Um, but yeah, um, it's a good game. I reluctantly recommend it. You can get it on discount for like three bucks. And um, I guess I have to admit I'm having a lot of fun with it. So, Gay Heroes, that's my review. Um, took a little longer to explain than I thought it would, but um, yeah, that's it. 88 Heroes, 7.5 out of 10. I'm not giving it an 8 or an 8.8, .8, although I'm a little bit tempted, but but um no, no. Don't want to follow their lead with the Nazi humor. Yeah. So, 7.5 out of 10. Not now. Not sugar. Mm, okay. That's kind of fun. That'll happen while you're playing the level as well. So I've seen that joke a lot of times. Alright. Um yeah, so we're done here, I guess. Uh, 88 heroes, 7.5 out of 10. It's a pretty good game. It's a little offensive, but I reluctantly recommend it. There's no way I'm getting through this. See y'all next time. It's just, it's just kind of funny to be in situations like that and not be completely unable to, unable to with a certain character. Right. Don't make me angry. See y'all next time. 88 heroes, 7.5 out of 10. Reluctantly, I'll admit you should probably play this. It's kind of fun. But it is a rage game. So, there's that as well. It ain't easy. Come on, stop being such a newbie.